still feel as though Cobbler is here with us. I still feel his presence, his beaming voice. He had this incredible ability to make anyone he met feel special. He would walk into the newsroom and you would, you would know he's there before you even set your eyes on him. We had this massive bear hug that he gave to people and that throaty laughter of his. See, the BBC's always had a problem looking cool. That's where I come in. <laughs> he was professional, he was fun, he was engaged, and he was just such a joy to work with. He had a lot of authority. He owned that studio, that studio was his, and he was able to connect with that camera with uh, the kind of ease that I've, I've seen very few presenters do. Welcome to the world's newsroom. He believed that the African story should be told in its entirety. So, the good stuff and the bad stuff. Since the mines closed down, how many of you have been able to find work? Just raise your hands. There are such wonderful stories to tell. Today we're not just talking about a continent that's rising, it's a continent that's there now. The Komla Dumo Award is going to provide a great opportunity. I mean, I wish I had something like that when I started out. We're looking for somebody who is incredibly creative, incredibly smart, somebody who is engaging, somebody who understands how Africa fits in with the world. It's great to see that this award has been set up, allowing journalists to follow in the footsteps of Comla. I cannot wait to um, see all the big ideas that people have because we've asked people to share ideas for a big story they'd like to do. I'd love to be in that position to be able to have the BBC help me craft that story. It's about telling the human stories, taking a big issue and making it human so that people across the world can connect to it and I know that that was something that was very important to Pobla. What impact will it have on the ordinary people? We're going to tell you that story and bring you much more covering the continent as we always do. Somebody has got to win this award. You know, why can't it be you?